how to find keywords that your competitors are not running sponsored ads for. How can this strategy make you money? Your main keywords, no matter what, none of your competitors are you know doing ads for it, or if all of them are, you still got to do ads for it. All right, you want to rank for for you know your most important keywords. But sometimes, you know, you might want to look for keywords that have a little less competition, or maybe at least your main competitors are not the run, the ones running sponsored ads. You could view that as opportunity to make some money. So how can you find that out? Uh, again, if you are in a, a multi-ASIN search, you have the results here. Um, sometimes you can go ahead and put a minimum search volume of 300. That's what I'm going to do right here. Now, what you want to do is you want to, there's a couple ways you can do this. One th way is finding out where not many people, not many of your competitors are running sponsored ads at all. In that case, you're going to want to find the filter that says sponsored rank count. And you can put like a maximum of, let's just say two. What that means is, hey, show me the keywords here where my competitors, a maximum of only uh, two are even running sponsored ads. Now, a lot of times a crazy number of keywords are going to show up here. Like even this one says a thousand keywords. So in this situation, I'm actually going to go ahead and put another uh, filter, which is the competitor rank average. All right. That means, hey, these aren't just random sponsored ads they're running. These are ones where they're probably, you know, getting organically around page one or two. So I'm going to go ahead and put minimum competitor rank average one maximum 50. And then when I apply that filter, now the number is going to be a lot less of these keywords And here, 56 keywords. Like for example, here's one right here, Gothic bookcase. It's, it's probably is fairly, um, uh, fairly relevant. Right. And I can see there are only, there is nobody running sponsor. Good grief. I can't believe this. There is zero competitors running sponsored ads on Gothic bookcase, which is a very relevant keyword. Uh, here's another one, Coffin Bookshelf. Only one competitor is showing up in sponsored ads uh, for this keyword. Gothic Cabinet, nobody is running sponsored ads. So that's a great way, again, to see which keywords your competitors are not even uh, focusing on. Uh, another situation could be instead of the number of competitors, you might want to look at sponsored rank average. And maybe you want to see where their average is like at least like 30, you know, meaning that they're probably a lot of competitors are not even on the first, you know, few pages of sponsored ads. And if I go ahead and apply the filters on that, so again, sponsored rank average minimum 30, I'm not putting anything in sponsored rank count. Now I see nine filtered keywords and see here, here's one keyword right here, coffin decor. There are a couple of competitors showing up in sponsored ads. And this is a keyword that a lot of people are on page one for, but look at this. The main competitors are, are 33rd and 69th as far as sponsored ads. That means that's like page three and page six probably in sponsored ads. That means if I come in, I would potentially be the only person, if I bid high, I would be the only person on page one for this keyword in sponsored ads. So another great way to find valuable information that can save you money in advertising so that uh, you know that you can focus on certain keywords and you're not going to have much uh, competition at all. On the flip side, maybe you're just curious, hey, where are most of my main competitors uh, you know, advertising for? Where are, they, where are they concentrating their top of search spend? You can go opposite on this. You can say, hey, show me, uh, you know, put in the filter here, show me where their sponsored rank average, regardless of their competitor rank average, show me where it's between one and 20, meaning that on average, they're on page one. And that's going to show you where most of your competitors are concentrating their spend. So a lot of different ways that you can filter through this information, but it's important to do that so you can really like dial in your PPC game.